Hello everyone, this is Holly speaking. How are you doing? Hope you're amazing and blessed right now. So welcome to my new video. On this video I'm talking about giving direction and self-introduction. But of course I will start with self-introduction first. After that I will start with giving direction. So this video is actually an assignment I have to share to my English lecturer. But it's okay, I will make it on public. I will share this on my YouTube, my IGTV or TikTok. If I can divide this video into some parts uh, I mean like cut into some parts because why the time limit of TikTok is only one minute okay guys so let's talk uh, sorry let's start about the first one it's okay for this video kita bahas secara relax saja aku akan menggunakan bahasa Inggris dan juga bahasa Indonesia and let's get started so the first I'm gonna talk about self introduction jadi in self introduction is how you introduce yourself in front of the classroom if you are a student or college and or in front of the new people that you met so as you can see guys there are three elements that you have to apply on your self introduction so uh, i will i will explain you okay i have a note in here because i don't want eh, jika nantinya aku share informasi namun ada hal-hal yang ketinggalan jadi aku harus letakkan di catatan ini so i want to be detailed here so uh, the first you need to have your opening jadi kamu harus punya opening jadi dalam opening ini kamu biasanya membuka percakapan tersebut dan ya mengucapkan selamat pagi selamat siang atau selamat sore for example good morning good evening good afternoon seperti itu but in here okay opening dibedakan menjadi dua uh, situasi okay so the first is formal situation the second is informal situation for formal situation of course you can use good morning Good afternoon, good evening, but for informal situation, you can use like just hello, hi, so that's enough, okay? And the second, we talk about the main idea, okay? The main idea here is like the idea that you have to share, that you have to introduce yourself in front of your audience, okay? So the first, for example, uh, there will be the name, a place, and date born, the age, address, teachers, religion, blood code, hobby, family, but if you think that the, the you know, the blood code or the address is something private for you, so you have to, you know, no need for you to share it, what I mean is. So, and the third is, of course, we will have the closing. Closing is what we call as leave taken. so how you close the video, or no, 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 how you close your self introduction okay for example i think that's enough thanks for your time and good attention that's all okay so jadi untuk contohnya dapat dilihat pada video berikut ini hello everyone how are you doing hope you're amazing and plus right now let's talk about myself my name is kiagus muhammad nur Hollis. you can call me Olis or kiagus but i'm mostly called Olis. i was born in palembang april 12 1999 means i'm 21 right now I'm the first child of my parents, I have two brothers and a sister. I love reading books, newspapers and articles, but I don't like reading novels for me. Watching movies on TV is enough, I spent less time. I love cycling on Sunday morning while shooting for my weekly Instagram content about English that you can see at Kiagus Nurholis. I'm interested in English, education, technology and communication. So that's why I love updating information about technological devices, especially the improvement of the smartphones. I'm an English teacher of an English course in Palembang and a private class teacher too. So I'm grateful with it. I started my career as an English teacher when I was 19, especially a year after being graduated from my senior high school. So guys, that's all about myself. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your good attention. See you when I see you when the pandemic is over. Bye. This is the time for me to tell you about giving direction. So giving direction is like how you give or share the direction to go to certain location to somebody else, let's say. Okay, bagaimana cara kamu memberitahu orang untuk menuju ke suatu tempat? So that's what we call. So before you share the direction, I want to share you some, what is that? Uh, some phrases that you use for giving direction, okay? So we have go to atau pergi ke, go past the pergi melalui blah blah blah, go down, okay? Ter jalan, jalan turun or jalan menurun, let's say. So go up, jalan menanjak, okay? On the left, di sebelah kiri, on the right, di sebelah kanan. Take the second corner, ambil or belok ke belokan kedua like that intersection perempatan and T junction is pertigaan so of course guys I'm gonna tell you 
uh, the way to go to my campus, this is Chandra di Mukha, but of course I, I don't take this one from my home, but I will take this from Ampera Bridge. And I'm really sorry guys, I have to look at this paper, okay, because ya jujur aja aku sendiri agak lupa secara detail bagaimana ca uh, how to go to my campus, so I have to look at this one. But it's okay guys, it's genuine, so I can say that ini apa ya? Original, uh, aku buat sendiri, so aku nggak copy or browse Google and on Google and sebagainya. Okay, so ini adalah buatan aku sendiri. Okay, let's get started. So from the Emperor Bridge, so you have to go down the area of Masjid Agung Palembang. I go, I especially go round the roundabout or like Bundaran Air Mancur, let's say, then go along the main street, uh, Jalan Jenderal Sudirman. Go straight on. And past the iconic buildings like International Plaza, the Charitas Hospital, Bank Indonesia, and the General Hospital of Muhammad Hussein, Palembang. Then I have to go to the traffic light. Okay, it is like what we call this intersection or perempatan next to the overpass of Simpang Polda. After that, a third right and go straight on. Get in another main road, Jalan Basuki Rahmat. Keep following the main road, it goes straight ahead until I get the gate on the left. So after getting the gate on the left, so I have to turn left and go ahead till I got the destination. So the destination is Tisipol Chandra di Mukha Palembang on the left. So guys, I think this okay that's all about a video today so thank you so much for your good attention for watching I'm really sorry if this video is not really serious because I have no preparation really I only write some uh, information in here and I directly speak in front of the camera so thank you so much for watching and video ini juga aku upload ke akun media sosial aku yang lain seperti YouTube uh, IGTV tentunya so guys thank you so much again for watching See you on my next video and have a blast day.